Good morning, friends. Isn't this just a precious moment in the morning before school? My three sweet girls snuggled up on the couch together. I just love it. So today you're gonna to be going with us for a feeding tube change, but today is not really going as we had planned. You'll hear about that in just a minute. I'll also explain this random diaper shot to you, but here we go. All right, wave and smile, Miss garage. I don't know if you'll be able to hear me, but I just dropped Izzy and his nurse off at the door because it's so cold out today. Um, I don't want it trapping his temp. And I wish I could have recorded more this morning, but he just, he was so different this morning. I'm not sure what's going on. His tone was really high, which means his muscles were really tense. He was posturing, which means like he was straightening his back and kind of arching it forward and putting his head all the way back, which he never does. So we assumed it was some kind of pain indicator. So we gave him some uh, medicine for the pain and that did seem to help. He also has a lot of gas. I don't know if he still has some bit of a stomach bug left over. So I hate that we're changing his tube today, but it really, really needs to be done because it kept clogging yesterday and we can't have his only source of liquids and nourishment not work. So here we go. Right now I'm walking into the hospital, but while I was walking in, little did I know on the other side of the hospital where I had dropped off Izzy and his nurse, Izzy had destatted and she had to like suction a bunch of junk out to bring his stats back up. And I'm just walking over to meet them because like I said, I didn't want to drop him off. Um, I did want to drop him off because it was so cold. But look how cute, they already had started decorating for Christmas. So here he is, his stats have rebounded, but you can tell he just, doesn't look 100%, but like I said, we really, really have to get this tube change done. While I was checking in, I just had to get a shot to show you guys just how amazing his nurses are with him. I love how she's just knelt down beside him, talking to him the whole time I'm checking him in. Are you waiting? Waiting for your turn? I just took him back and this time I always go with him to like the holding area and then I have to leave when they actually take him into the procedure room but because this day has been so crazy for him and just he's not himself I asked if his nurse could go back with him like where they did the, the procedure and they said they don't think she could be in the room but there's like an observatory room attached to it that she could wait there just in case anything happens since she knows him so well and because she's a nurse it gives her a little bit more leeway than just a parent would have i think well, that's why i asked if she could go maybe she just asked if i could go but anyways it's fine it's good it's all good <sighs> this is the part where my nerves always start calling me <sighs> You think I've used this every four months for the last eight years. But still, every time I get nervous, and it doesn't help when the day's not going like it normally does. So, the change itself should only take like 10 minutes. So, hopefully, they'll be back super soon. I think it's usually about half an hour total to like get him on, like get him in the room and get him situated, and then do the change, and then check the placement and get him back here. So, sometimes like half an hour to an hour. So, we shall see, he'll check back in. He's back and he's all done, but I'm gonna zoom in on his pulse axe for you. He's only 93%, which is not good. Um, and his heart rate's still really high. So after going back and forth with the nurses and um, calling his pediatrician, we decided to grab an x-ray at radiology, which is just down the hallway from where we are right now, and get that done before we leave without having to go to the ED to get it done because then we'll have to do a whole bunch of blood work and everything. So here we are waiting to get our x-ray. Obviously, I didn't get a video of the x-ray happening, but we got a chest x-ray and now we're going to wait for the results. So we're going to head home so we can get his feeds restarted. Um, and then, like I said, wait for the results of the x-ray.
So I know it seemed like the day went pretty fast, but it's already like one o'clock in the afternoon and we had left, I wanna say at 8.30 in the morning. So there was a lot of stress involved in this day, a lot of going back and forth with his healthcare professionals that are on his team and the doctors that we saw for the tube change, also his nurse and I trying to figure out what the heck is going on with him today. So definitely was a very stressful day, but I'm so glad that we were able to get that x-ray and I'm so glad that the nurse who was there checking us in and out was able to tell us about the option of just getting a script sent in and having the x-ray done at the radiology department instead of having to go through the emergency department because that would have been a whole nother debacle. So now we are home and I am so glad to be home sweet home and I'm gonna get him out of the car and I'm gonna show you a little clip of how we get him in and out of the house because as you can see, most of our living is up on the second floor of our home. We technically have a bi-level, but um, we try and keep everything on one floor. So there we go in our beautiful basement. And now my daughter's home from school. It was pajama day and here's a clip of her singing. You pick red and oh, pink and green. All right, is he ready? Oh, you're gonna hold on with that hand. Here we go. Happy to report that his x-rays showed clear lungs, so we are very, very happy about that. And then I have this mess to tackle next. It is 8.23. Just wrapped up putting Izzy to bed, doing his straight capping, his breathing treatments, putting a ton of oils on him because his heart rate's still really high. He um, feels warm one second and then feels cool the next. It's so bizarre. I have no idea what's going on. Um, my daughter's cleaning up her toys right now. Same time for her to go to bed. I'm working on the dishes that I did not get to do this morning. I always like to unload the dishwasher first thing in the morning, but I didn't get that done. So I just unloaded the dishwasher and I'm loading it with some dishes from tonight and then washing Izzy's syringes. And then I have his meds out because we need to go give those to him. There's uh, they're just vitamin supplements and then um, an alpha blocker that he's on trying to see if it helps him urinate on his own. So far, it worked the first two nights and it hasn't worked since. Uh, but I don't expect it to work today because he barely had any fluids. From midnight last night till, I wanna say till 2.30 today, he didn't have any fluids in there because he had to have them stop to get the tube change. And then, uh, and then till we got home from getting the x-rays and everything, it was really late, so. Um, it goes over in that corner, but I can put it away. Thank you. She's even cleaning up Izzy's stuff for me. Such a good helper. And my husband just called to say he's on his way home from work. Woo! And mommy, there's a new spot to put, like, um, the mat. Look. <laughs>
thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If there's anything else you'd like to see, please leave it in a comment below. Feel free to subscribe and share it with your friends. Have a blessed day.